Hello everyone, and welcome back to another Let's Play The Hunter single player. I am the Gamer Outdoorsman. I just spawned in at the Trapper's Rest Lodge on Redfeather Falls, and I'm hoping to do some moose and bear hunting. So, yeah. I'll, uh, I'm bringing with me the 9.3 Anschwitz rifle, as you can see in my hands. I'm also bringing the snake bite compound bow. And I'm also bringing a tent uh, so that I can leave one out there and spawn there so that I don't have to walk the whole time. But yeah. I'll just show you what I'm planning on doing uh, if it'll load well that's not working so um well the plan is to go off somewhere in sort of that direction right in front of me uh, so yeah it is very early in the morning if you can't tell already. But yeah. We'll see if we can get some bears or moose, either or. Um, I do have a moose competition for the snake bite bow uh, activated right now. So yeah. I will see you when we see something okay the um the map just started working finally uh so i'll just sort of show you where we're going um we are way south um normally i hunt way up here in that area but um this is where the moose live so um yeah, I was spawned down here. But the plan is to just sort of go somewhere over here and uh, into this area and then walk north and maybe to like around here if we have time afterwards. But yeah, generally we're going to be staying into the swamp area. Um, so that's where most of the moose like to be. I did just hear a call from a, a female moose over there, but uh, I do not want to shoot any females because, first of all, there's no really reason to. And second of all, um, I'm not sure if it'll affect my competition, but uh, I definitely do not want uh, to risk that because you only have 10 tries so um, yeah we'll just keep walking and whoa that was weird yeah it's actually a pretty nice morning um, I was actually sort of hoping to uh, get a more rainy morning because uh, I live in Minnesota if you haven't if you don't know that already and we haven't seen rain since uh, you know October or so so I'm starting to get a little tired of the snow wanting to see some rain but it doesn't look like that's gonna happen today oh. what's this? yellow swamp rustler cool but yeah Ooh. That 
is a male right over there. I'll sort of mark it. It's a general place. I could probably see it from here. Let's see. Maybe not. If it looks big, then I'll probably shoot it. I'm going to be very picky about uh, what I shoot today because of the mission. Or, not the mission, the competition. Uh, that and I'm just sort of... I guess I'm kind of getting tired of shooting anything that's male, even. Um, originally, I, I always used to... When I first started, like most people, I just sort of shot anything I saw. Then, I just sort of started uh, shooting males. Oh, I can see them. I think. Yeah. Eh. Looks like a small one. I don't know if I'll shoot him. But, I don't know. I guess I just sort of... It feels too easy now. Uh, too easy and fast-paced to be shooting, like, every male that I come across. Because there's... I don't know. I seem like I see more of them. now than I did before. <laughs> but yeah, oh, it's a white tail. Male. Right up there. I also have a, I think I have a white tail mission. Um, let me check. Oh, well, um, now I'm in a white tail mission, at least. So, let's see what does this mission say, or competition. White tail watch. Okay, so you have to harvest a white tail deer from a tower, tree stand, blind, or tripod stand. Um... That is actually quite convenient, because if you see right up ahead is, uh, is a tree stand, so I will just try to get up in there and call it in, and I'll probably start calling in between, because it's right over there somewhere. Yeah, you see, if I shot all these males, that one down there with a bow, then came up right here and shot it, that was a bow, or you know, a rifle, whatever. It's just, that's too much, it's starting to get a little boring to just shoot everything, so I've been shooting a lot less smaller males recently. what I should probably put on some scent eliminator since the wind is going toward the stand and where the deer is right now so yeah I think I'll give it a call here Try and get it coming in my direction. If I'm correct, it was like right over there. Um, so yeah. I guess I'll be back when I get to the tree stand. 
Okay, so we just got another call from him. He is practically right at the uh, tree stand right now. Moose tracks. Um, but he will be coming that way, so I'll just sort of try and get to the tree stand. Get up in there, get him coming towards us again, since he'll be going away. And... Yeah. Should be able to see him soon. Um, he was right in front of us. We'll probably see him at the top of this hill. Or when we come on to the top of the hill. didn't go all the way down there already, did he? If he did, then that's a fast steer. It's another moose. I really like hunting here since, uh, it's probably the closest, um, maybe not quite, but still it's um, it's, it's pretty close to Minnesota, um, not geographically, this is based off of, um, British Columbia, Canada, but, oh boy. But it, it sort of looks like areas I've been in Minnesota. So I, I like it. Holy crap, it went way down there. Um, looks like we have a bit of a wait. Um, so yeah. I bet a lot of people would really want something based off of like the Great Lakes area. Midwest, since that's where a lot of the people um, who go hunting and play this game live and hunt. Uh, one of those people is me, so I don't know. I can't really uh, make the the staff do anything really, the developers, but that would be cool. We're probably gonna get an African one first though, um, which I, I like, I like a African hunting, but I don't know. I guess I've played too much, um, Cabela's games, they sort of overuse Africa in those, so I'm sort of get bored of it. I really hope he doesn't come right where that tree branch is. He probably is, but I really hope he doesn't. Maybe not. Uh, so, I'll just be back when he comes, gets over here. Okay guys, I just got down uh, from the tree stand and, uh, cause I couldn't really see anything from up there. And I think I just spotted him. Oh, shoot. There he is. 
he is a nice one. And I'm going to get into this tree stand right now. Cause <laughs> that was close. Uh, yeah, I was looking over there for the longest time, and all of a sudden he's over there now. Wait a second. It's a different one. Let's see if I can see him. Probably not. It's too early. Too much fog. But. Oh, shoot. I'm shooting this one with the bow, so it shouldn't really matter. Oh god, this isn't good. I'll have to get it on the way out. Oh no. Ooh. I thought that was a really bad shot for a second. I got really scared. Uh, so let's see if we can get that other one then. Um, I think I can see him now. Maybe not. I really thought that was a bad shot. I that scared me. Uh, let's see here. Oop. He's probably right in that tree line over there. Um, I still can't see him. I'm gonna see how far it is. Um, okay, yeah, I should be able to see him if he if he comes out of that tree tree line over there. I'm not sure if I'm going to shoot this with the bow. I might just shoot it with the rifle. Um, I don't know if I showed you this new scope. I may or may not have. But it is the... What is it? 2-6 to six by 26 millimeter rifle scope. It fits... Uh, okay, this compact scope with an illuminated illuminated reticle is perf is the perfect companion for hunters stalking prey stalking or driving prey in low light conditions so right now basically designed for speed and agility this scope comes with two magnification settings a 2x mode which allows which affords a wide field of view when scanning for targets and a 6x mode for quick and precise targeting of mobile prey. Uh, characteristics, magnification, power, 2 to 6, uh, German il illuminated reticle. So yeah, it fits... What's that? I heard something. It fits all Anschwitz rifles and the 223 rifle. So, it is an incredibly useful to me. Are those bear tracks? But, it I do like to hunt in the morning, so it's it's nice to have. But I think I'll shoot this with a bow when it gets over here. I 
just hope it's heading this way. Oh, there it is. It is a nice one again. Um, I'm not sure how big that one was. That one doesn't look as big. It doesn't have as, doesn't have as many points. That's for sure. And I hear something else. Uh-oh, it's a doe. I think I might have to shoot that one with the rifle. Nice. Oops. Okay, let's see what this one was. It's spine and liver shot. So yeah, it was a little bit farther back. Uh, 115.037. Not too bad. Take it quick. Ooh, achievement unlocked. 50 snake bite harvests nice I do really like the snake bite it's got uh, really it's really powerful it's like this either the strongest bow right now or it's the second strongest now oh, that's good enough it's if anybody who is watching is a bow hunter in real life you'll understand this um, that this is a 80 pound bow 80 pound draw weight so anybody who knows bows knows that that is a very strong bow um, I have hunted with bows uh, not too much but I have a bow and I plan on hunting uh, more next fall with it and mine is like a 45 pound deer bow it's a nice one Let's see what he scored and look at the damage that that did heart stomach and liver 157.952 not too bad not my biggest I don't think um, no it's definitely not my biggest but let's pull them up a little bit That's nice. There we go. So yeah. That was quite interesting. I wonder what that puts me in the competition now. Um not very far. I think I might need to end the end the hunt before it uh, puts it in but that's okay I'll check on it later uh, according to the score it should get me around 12th place which isn't too bad but it doesn't win anything so I don't really do too much with competitions usually I just sort of activate them in case I get anything big while I'm hunting, but yeah, I'll guess I'll be back when something else happens.
Okay, uh... There's a white-tailed deer right in front of me, a little one. I've been walking for quite a bit now. I don't really want to shoot it. Can you get across here? No, it does not look like it. Are those logs floating? That's pretty cool. I haven't really been to this area much, so... I never knew that they... Oops. Never knew they had those. I have to just wait for this to pass by. Then continue that way. Yeah, I'm planning on going, heading for this little area over there. So, he's pretty much directly in the path right now. Oh no, he's coming for us. Just sort of try to get around him. Getting nervous, I think. I think I might have to shoot him. Hopefully he went down over there. It looked like a pretty good shot. Yeah, he was going to see me anyway, so because he was just standing there staring. So lungs hurt. Yeah, he shouldn't go far. I've had some glitches recently with the uh, lungs and stuff, long heart hits with bows. Oh, there he is. Like, I, uh, I shot a, they might have fixed this by now, but a while ago I shot, um, a feral hog, and it ran, like, way out there, and it was, it said it was a lung shot, so I was confused. Um, so yeah, then, uh, eventually the track turned into body shot blood, so that got me even more confused. And we have a bear track. It looks, I'm gonna go see if I can find another one of this track. More bear tracks. Ooh, there's lots of bears near here. That one's going that way. It's old. I didn't see that guy. But, yeah, it, like, turned into body, body shot blood. Um, so I was confused, and I got up to it, and I thought that maybe it just said lung shot from a glitch or something before and it was actually a body shot that would explain why it ran so far but I collected it and it was a lung shot so I don't know very confusing um huh I must have spooked that bear when I shot the rifle back there But yeah, I'll just keep on going that way. Hopefully I can find a bear or two eventually. 
These are sort of headed in that direction, so... Yep, I will see you guys later then. Okay, there's a bear up there. Uh, whatever it is, it looks interesting, so... Um... I'm going to try and take a shot if I can get one before it gets to those trees. Um... Like that. Look like a good shot. And it's down over there. Nice. Uh, I'm... Hopefully... I, I don't know what that is, honestly. It, I thought it was a... Um, there's a lot of different kinds of the uh, black bear. Um, they have the... The most common, of course, is the regular black bear. It's just black. Uh, the second most common is the blonde bear, uh, blonde version. It's sort of very... It, it's blonde. It's just... Its name sort of speaks for itself. Um, they're very bright colored, and that's what I thought this was. Um, they're not too rare. Uh, I've shot quite a few, so they're not really anything special to me, but... Uh, next there's the chocolate bear, which are just sort of a dark brownish color. Um, those are a little bit more rare than the blonde bear, but they are still quite common. I've shot quite a few. Um, then there's a cinnamon bear, which is pretty uncommon. I've shot like three or four of them. Those are cool. They're sort of... Uh, reddish brown cinnamon cinnamon color um and then the rarest of them all is the uh is the glacier bear which I've yet to see and this is just a blonde bear it looked different from way out there but cool uh right lung Scores 14.4. Pretty small one, but still not too bad. That looks good. Well. I guess I'll keep on going that way. I'll see you guys in a bit. <laughs>